This is an Excel sim model, a traditional Monte Carlo simulation model, that we're going to turn into a SIP library. I've recently donated the Excel sim uh, simulation engine to probabilitymanagement.org. This is the engine that is used in my uh, educational software package. And it's a traditional Monte Carlo package like at risk or crystal ball. It's smaller. It's, it's really an educational package, but, but it can certainly demonstrate how to create SIPs. It has quite a wide range of probability distributions. And furthermore, everything I'm showing you can easily be done in at risk or crystal ball. And in fact, later I'll show you how to do this exact thing from crystal ball. But to start out with, we're modeling uh, these four assets using Excel sim formulas. And uh, we have a covariance matrix down here. We have means uh, of the variables over here. Here is the Excel sim formula, gen MV normal. It generates a multivariate normal based on the covariance matrix and the, uh, the vector of, of means. So when I press the F9 key, it's creating these multivariate random variables. Now, I'm going to start the SIP maker. And first step is to add the output cells to those cells. We have to give them names because we're making SIPs out of them. And in this case, we're also adding some, some data provenance. Uh, in, this, in this case, just my initials. Uh, I'm just saying, OK, I did this. And then I'll give provenance to the entire uh, uh, data set, the entire library. I'll call it San Diego. And let's run 10,000 trials. And there it goes. And there's the SIP library. So here are these uh, columns of numbers, 10,000 uh, long. They're named according to the convention, where each one has its own range name. Uh, we have metadata on the next sheet. Uh, the provenance says San Diego. The trials are 10,000. And there's other metadata uh, over here on the, on the right. So uh, next, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how this can be done with Crystal Ball. Eric Wainwright, uh, the lead uh, engineer at Crystal Ball, uh, kindly uh, created some macros so that Crystal Ball users can create SIP libraries according to the, the probability management standard. And they're just like the library I used here. That means if you're using the SIP math modeler tools, you can access those libraries just as I access this one. So next, we're going to hear from Eric. Hello, I'm Eric Wainwright from Oracle Crystal Ball. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a SIP library from the results of a Monte Carlo simulation. To start this process, I have a discounted cash flow model already open with a number of forecasts or output cells. There are five forecasts for years one through five of the net income formula. And I have a net present value forecast along with an IRR forecast. Next, I'm going to run a simulation of 1,000 trials using Crystal Ball. And these are the two distributions for the NPV and the IRR forecast cells. Now, to create a SIP library, I'm going to open a special macro that we've created just for this purpose. And this macro will soon be available on the probabilitymanagement.org website. The macro has a ribbon with just one command on it. And I just click this button. And the macro extracts out all the results from the simulation. You can see here there's the trials table from trial 1 through 1,000. And at the bottom is a statistics table and a percentiles table. At the top is some metadata information that has the number of trials that were run, as well as, as some indexes into the table to extract the uh, key statistics that we want. And at this point, it's very easy to integrate the SIP information into the model of your choice. And I'm going to let Sam continue the presentation from here. Thank you. Uh, so thank you, Eric. Next, we will cover at risk. Andrew Pulvermacher, the chief probability officer at Nighthawk Intelligence and a simulation expert, has created a macro to generate SIP libraries from at risk. In operation, it is similar to the one demonstrated for Crystal Ball. 
Again, the resulting SIP library is generated according to the SIPMath 2.0 open standard and is compatible with the SIPMath modeler tools. Note that SIPMath models in Excel run much slower. If you have any other files open that contain the RAND or at-risk functions. So close those files first before running your SIPMath model. Please visit us at www.probabilitymanagement.org to learn more and to support this important nonprofit effort.